Welcome back to the Greg Tech Test Laboratories. My name is Chloe and today I'm going to show you how to add Forge Microblocks to match Greg Tech uh, textured blocks. So let's get started. Today I'm going to use um, the titanium uh, stable casing as just my example. Now by default, uh, Forge Microblocks do not have a match for Greg Tech blocks, but this can be changed in your uh, microblocks configuration file and I'm going to show you how to get your matching IDs and all that good stuff uh, in your configuration file um, so yours and you can have this in your as well so let's get started okay the first thing we need to do is we need to add some entries into your um, forge microblocks um, config file so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our Minecraft folder and we need to open up from the Minecraft folder we need to open up the config folder then we're going to open up the uh, Forge Microblocks config file which is right here and we're going to double click that now if you don't have Forge Microblocks installed you won't have the config file there but if you have certain mods installed say Project Red you're already going to have Forge Microblocks installed. If you don't know if you have it or not, here's where you need to look. If you go in the Mods folder, um, and I'm running Minecraft 1.7.10, this may vary, but I'm just going to show you for 1.7.10. In the Mods folder, there'll be another folder called 1.7.10. And in there, you should see your Forge multi-part uh, file. It's called Forge Multipart. Okay, so I have currently version um, 1.10311. That's what I'm using, and that's where you're going to find it. It that file does not get installed in the main mods folder. It goes in the subfolder right here. Okay, and if you try installing it in in the regular mods folder, it's just going to create this folder and move it into there anyway. So if you go looking for it, say you threw it in your mods folder and you go look for it and it's it's just not in there, okay? This is where it's at, right there, okay? All right, so back to our config folder. We're gonna just open up the Forge Microblocks, um, the Microblocks config file and you just open it up with a text file, okay? When you open it up, let me get rid of some of this other stuff here. When you open it up, um, if you don't have any other mods that have added anything to it, you're probably just going to see these first few lines, which are, you know, telling you how to basically add the um, custom blocks in. For your convenience, I've already made the ones for Greg Tech, and I'm going to put those right here in my notepad. So I'm going to copy this whole thing, and then I'm going to paste it over into here. All right, that's all you need to do. It doesn't matter. If you have more of these in here down below, make sure you put it down below all this description part here. Put it down below. And this hashtag, the one that says Greg Tech with hashtag, hashtag is a code that means to ignore that line when the game is loading. So say you didn't want some of these other Forge micro blocks in there. Say you didn't want the block casings or whatever. All you do is put a hashtag in front of it like that and just and then that line is ignored and then these blocks won't be there in the game anymore and I'm going to close that out okay I'm going to close that out now I'm going to boot my game so I'm going to go ahead and get that running and I'll be back here as soon as uh, this loads now that you've added the necessary uh, information into your microblocks uh, configuration file when you start up you should have a whole new set of uh, options for matching all the micro blocks uh, to the casings of um, Greg Tech. So here I have set up um, the different sizes, you know, the standard micro blocks. We've got the large uh, panels and the covers, as well as the hollow panels and covers and slabs as well. And of course, we've got the corner nooks and the posts and the, the strips and the and the whatnots. <laughs> and so what this does is this gives us um, a whole lot more building options when we're making our machines. Because if you're like me, you don't just like to just hook it up and just, you know, build your machine 
set the block down and then just go. I like to make it fancy. So let me make something fancy for you. So when you're normally building, you know, you set your, your machines down, you have your blocks, you know, you're going to have your basic square. But what if you want to make it, you know, or blend these blocks into other things, or you want to, um, you know, even use them decoratively? Well, the micro blocks will give you those options. Okay, now let's take a look at how we can use this with the Applied Energistics uh, cables. Now, normally, Applied Energistics gives you matching facades for most of your mods. They just go ahead and add them. See how they have the little riser support in between them when you're attaching them? And what's nice about their facades is that when you go to attach another piece of cable in a different direction, it just automatically puts the hole in there. What's nice about the forge micro blocks, though, is, okay, I'm going to put a forge micro block right next to this one. Watch this. No riser support. That's not a big deal. But let's just say, I'm going to put that, oops, standing in the way. I want to put that there. I'm going to take that back off. Now watch when I put the cable there. Look, does not go through. Will not attach. Let's just say I did want it to attach there and I was using forge, I wanted to use forge micro blocks. To do that, all I would do is put a hollow one there. See that? So the advantage over the applied energistics one is that it automatically does it. See, it just put the hole in there. With the forge micro blocks, you have to do it, use the whole one. Now, that's not a big deal. There are advantages and disadvantages to using both. <clears throat> Let me show you another um, example of this, which makes it nice. Okay, here I have some um, cables from Project Red, just your basic uh, framed alloy wire. And you know what, let's use some uh, other wire color as well, just so you can see that it doesn't matter which color you use. I'll just grab some white cable here. Yep. <coughs> now what's nice about the Forge Micro Blocks is that you can just, you can either cover your wire or you can wrap your wire like that and case it. Check it out. You can put them right on top of there. Another thing you can do is wrap these in jackets if you have um, Extra Utilities mod installed. So if you have Extra Utilities installed, you're going to get an option for uh, a casing, a pipe jacket. Let's see this. Look at that. See how it got bigger? That's, that's actually not a good example. Let me show you a different... Um, let me show you a different cover here, so it will show you a good example. Okay, here we go. How about I didn't choose one that you can't wrap? Yeah, some microblock covers don't allow you to wrap it. Uh, let me see if I can find one here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, let's say like this. Okay, say you had your cable and you wanted to wrap it with a forge micro block and make them all white. But then if you have extra utilities installed, you're going to get pipe jackets. So you can wrap them with additional jackets like that. So you have all these options to make it really cool looking and match it in with your Greg Tech cables. Let's actually look at this here. One stripe. Type it in here. Yeah, here's a cool one. So you can make, you know, your pipes look really, really cool. Let's take that one back off. There we go. And you can put, um, you, can, you know, you can just keep playing with it and make it really neat looking. Now, why would you want to do all that? Well, just for aesthetics looking, but you can also do it for pipe or wire identification purposes. Um, so you get that option, you know, working with different cables. Um, now, here's another thing that you can do that's really cool. <clears throat> with, um, Using Project Red's lamps, if I say I put one of these on right there, like this, or say this is a machine or what have you, and you want your redstone cable to actually um, interact with the block that's going to be, say, right here. Let me get a block. Say I had this was a machine or whatever, and I still wanted it to interact, but I wanted to build a box around that. Let me grab my cover here. 
let's say this one. There we go. Say I wanted to cover that like that. And say I, you know, I wanted to, you know, it to work with that machine. Let me get a piece of wire. There we are. Now to normally, let me take this back off. Normally to get this wire to attach to this block, you're going to have to put a piece of redstone there. See that? So you just put that right in there, and then your any wire will attach to it now and interact with that block. that there. Actually, I'll move it right there. Now let's put a lever down here. See that? Really nice. Now say I wanted to cover that all up. I'd have to use my hollow block like so. Oop. Sometimes it's easier to go like that. Oh no, it doesn't allow me to do that. Will it still allow me to attach? It won't allow me to attach. <clears throat> Cut that part out. Okay. Okay, so if I want to actually cover this up now, I could do that just like this. And encase that in my machine. And oh, we still have that hollow part there. So we just go ahead and place that inside there. And boom, look at that. Now I was careful to place this block you know, in here the way I did because I didn't want it to be offset into the where the white part is. So if I had done that, you would see, see how it doesn't match. We want to put it on the inside because look, you know, if I build that, it looks, it looks weird now. So I want to take that off and I want to get that inside there. See that? Now it looks nice. So check that out. Pretty cool. And that could be, this, this light could represent a machine or whatnot, what have you. <clears throat> and let's just say I want the light to be on top of there. Well, it's not interacting, is it? How do we get that to work? How do we get that to work without having to be able to put a wire on the inside? Very simple. Again, just use your hollow block like this. And I actually, I take credit for this. Uh, <laughs> I got the Project Red people, uh, Mr. TJP, to change his coding so you could do this. You can actually put your light on top of a hollow micro block now. And look at this. Ha ha. Looks nice, doesn't it? <laughs> That's because it is. You could not do that before. In fact, this red uh, cage lamp wasn't even in the game here until about a month ago after I um, got Mr. TJP to change that for him. So pretty cool. Now let's take a look at some other things that you're going to get with other mods. Now if you also have installed, um, like I said, uh, extra utilities mod, you're going to get a few extra things that are picked up uh, as a result of adding these Forge microblock codes. Um, you're going to get, well, I already showed you the, the cable jacket. So let me move up some of the stuff out of the way here. Let's get rid of that. And we'll get rid of that. Okay, so you're going to get a new fence post, you're going to get a new wall, and you're going to get a new impossible item object. Now, if you're not familiar with those are what those are, go to the Extra Utilities page and the uh, Minecraft Forums page. So let's start with the fence, which is the obvious. You know, if you want to have nice little matching fence posts, you know, that match your Greg Tech blocks, there you go. And let's say you want to have walls. Boom, 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 boom. Look at that, walls. Pretty awesome. So when you're building like train sets and stuff, this can be really cool, you know, having different, you know, um, building options. Say you want to have different walls or say you want to just use them as support structures for your trains um, in between. You can get really creative. I like to use these things like when I'm building lights. See, I use a lot of micro blocks in my lights. And, stuff. and by the way, I have a whole bunch of different design of lights. I'm going to make a mod or make a video about my different uh, light I ideas I have to, you know, if you like making different looking lights. There we go. And lastly is the impossible object, which is basically just a light. <laughs> it's all it really does is the impossible object. And 
it's kind of neat seeing the different ones that um, extra utilities will create out of a forge microblock. So the only reason they're there, again, this mod um, extra utilities picks up on whatever forge microblocks are added. And by default, forge microblocks um, do not um, automatically make a fire forge microblock out of every mod you install. And some some objects you just can't make um, an, a uh, a, a microblock out of they just you just can't but um, a lot of them you can and these are ones so so yeah okay now let me show you some tricks that you can do with Greg Tech pipes the thing to know about Greg Tech pipes is that no matter what the size is whether the smallest or the biggest ones his pipes take up the full size of a block so using a micro block is not possible it's going to use the outer side of the next block See, you know, I can't, I can't fully encase that. But what you can do is use his um, plates. Um, you just type in titanium plate for this one, and it will actually encase the, uh, the pipe. See, if you want to stay within the full size, which is kind of a bummer. He doesn't have his own casings to match his pipes, which I would recommend that he add you know, he, the, the plates are really awesome. It's just that he doesn't, he doesn't include his own matching pipes. And the other bummer thing is, is that he doesn't have a code like the microblocks where you can add other mods or even vanilla um, blocks. You can't texturize his plates. That's the only problem that I have with his plate system. I do, I do like it though. I think it's cool. Um, don't Go into his forum and suggest that he use Forge microblocks as a, um, uh, uh, because he, he that's a pet peeve of his. Uh, it's in his question and answers on his opening page of his forum on the Industrial Craft 2 website. And if you ask about Forge microblocks to Greg, he most likely will ban you. Not most likely, he will ban you for a period of time or even permanently because he does not care for the forge microblocks system and he's already put in a comprehensive plate system for his own blocks and um, I just think that if you're going to give a suggestion to him in his forum one um, you know send it privately to him in an email don't send it to him through the forum because everybody in the forum they'll just let you know this is a suggestion that's been made a thousand times but if you do feel the need to go and <laughs> suggest to Greg to add some plates, um, suggest that he add the ability like Forge has to be able to texturize his plates or add additional plates for any mods block. That would be awesome because I do like using Greg's pipes a lot. I think they're more challenging. It's just that aesthetically, they're just um, they're a little bit more limited as far as the options to hide them and work with them, um, which, you know, it's a newer thing. So I'm sure we'll get to the point where we can hide them. But that's what I have. Now, um, a couple last things here I did not show you, just, just as a little treat here. Um, I'm not sure of all the different mods that utilize the jackets um, from Extra Utilities. But here, just as a little added bonus, I know this isn't about Greg Tech, but if you use mechanism and you use, um, like, say, the universal cable, you can, um, you'll have, uh, if you have the extra utilities mod installed, you'll have the option for jackets. And look at that. You can cover your wires in, in there. And you can also, if you use the new tubes mod, it's just called tubes. And I'll, again, I'll have the links for these mods in the description. You can cover their tubes as well which is really, really cool. I love, love, love when mods do that, when they make things universal to work with uh, Forge Microblocks. It's just awesome. You can see what happens when some a mod maker goes their own way. It leaves, um, just leaves it to where you don't have the same options and uniformity, which is fine. It's just, you know, for some people, they're just going to go and use other options. You don't have to use Greg Tech pipes. 
Um, and if you do use Greg Tech pipes, it's just going to be a little bit more challenging to aesthetically bury them into your walls or um, make them look, you know, um, as part of the landscape, whatever. Okay, now we're going to use the Forge Microblocks in a practical application. Um, what we have here is my butter shop. Um, I'm actually working on a new train world and actually already have some plots laid out for different buildings that are going to go in. And I want to um, really make this really aesthetically pleasing. And it's got a lot of machines and trains and all kinds of stuff. So yeah, this is my butter shop. So welcome to my butter shop. It's the one stop gold stop. <laughs> Uh, that sounded better in my head. So here are some different machines that I've built in Greg Tech. And like I said, I, I like to do things more complicated than they need be. Now all these blocks around there, some of them are facades, some of them are, are covers. Um, but I don't have, um, or pardon me, they're not covers, they're, they're facades or they're blocks. There is no forged micro blocks in any of this yet. And the reason that I'm going to add some Forge Microblocks is, is that there are things on the inside of this machine that I'd like to maintenance and access occasionally. Um, but just to give you an overview of what this, this room does, this is a one-stop gold shop. <laughs> and that means that when ore is put into my ME system, okay, right now I've got 49 uh, bars of gold. Now, if that level of gold goes down, then I'm going to have to make some more gold. Now, I ha my city will have a universal ME system, and uh, it will share resources amongst many different buildings and so forth. But I want to set thresholds. I don't want just, you know, everybody taking all the tons of gold and seeing how much gold we have at the gold shop. And there's going to be multiple gold shops. This is just for your plain vanilla ore. But I'm getting too uh, involved here. So anyway, I've set up a machine here that will automatically make more gold once the level of gold is down below 10. So if I go ahead and go into my ME system and I take out all this gold, watch this, it's going to be loud. There you go. It is now making gold. And so you can see my light stack up top. The blue light means that the program for making more gold has been sent to the machine. Green means everything's okay. Red is running, orange is processing, and yellow is resetting. And then this little guy back here, this is actually the brains of the system. It, the purple means that it's receiving a signal from the ME system to process and make gold. When this is lit, it sends a program over to here. That's why this blue one is lit. When this thing no longer is requesting any gold, this program will be removed from the computer of the machine. Now you can see that my uh, pulverizer over here has made some pulverized gold and the pulverized gold comes over here and it's given a chemical bath and separated in sodium persulfate and then it comes over here and then my turbo centrifuge uh, turns it into uh, all kinds of other good stuffy um, and then it's come over here to my uh, furnace and which makes my gold bars. So you can see right now, I've actually got two gold bars already made from the different processes of my gold. If I throw this back in there, look, my purple light went out. So that that is all well and good, right? Well, I, I still have stuff inside these machines that I can't check. Look, see, there's only one purified... Um, piece of, uh, or one purified dust in there. That is because there's actually a buffer behind it and I can't access it. I need to see what's in there. See, up on my wall here, it shows that there is zero in my ME system. But, but ones are keep being fed in here. Where are they coming from? Well, that is because there is a, um, there is a uh, chest buffer behind the machine. Now I want to be able to access it, but I can't because there's always a block there. How could I do that? Well, that's where the micro blocks come in. So let's see, we are using on this one, we're using casings. So let's type in casing and look at all these beautiful Greg Tech casing um, 
micro blocks that are now coming up. So I'm going to use, we want the basic one, there it is, the Greg Tech block casing. All right, now I can take and put one there, one up there, one there. Sometimes you have to hold the shift key in and sneak and place it. That way it won't access your machine. And I like to put one down there. Now look, so now I have a nice little cubby to access in there. And I could even put a door over top of this. I don't know which one. I'd have to probably figure out which mod I could use to put a door over that to even blend it in. If that's even possible, I'm sure it is. Now on this side, I'm using applied energetic, uh, applied energetic case, um, or applied energistics, bleh. <laughs> um, here we are, and I need to use a quartz wrench or another quartz wrench, either one, to remove those casings. So holding shift and then clicking, I can remove those without damaging my ME smart cable underneath. Now, I, this is the same thing. I wanna be able to access this and I want, um, you know, I still wanna be able to you know, check on that. And, and I want to be able to reset my export bus and all that good stuff. So how do I do that? Well, this is going to take a combination of both a facade and micro blocks to do this. So the thing I'm going to do first is I'm going to take off this piece of cable carefully there really quick. Then I'm going to put, you can either use a facade for this, which, which I recommend, putting a facade on that point. Now it's covered over and now we're going to put our piece of cable back in. See that? Nice and slick. You could have used a micro block hollow cover here, but it's a little larger hole and it wouldn't look as seamless as that. Now let's put in our micro block cover. See this? Sexy times in the city. There we go. Looks awesome, doesn't it? Awesome, McLawesome. Now see how this one's down below there? or this one's on top and it's nice and seamless, but look at the facade. It's kind of like, eh, it's on the bottom. It doesn't look like it actually fits. Let's take that back off. Yay. Now let's put on the hollow one. So this is, this is um, something that you're going to have to make as a personal choice, which you would rather live with. Now I'm kind of an anal person with a, uh, a syndrome of some kind that I have to have the world and everything in it perfect <laughs> and matching. So I'm going to go with a micro block and stick the hole up top there. See that? Looks nice, doesn't it? Now it's nice and even. I could even put this on there like that and still access and have access to my stuff. If you're careful in there, you can still get to it. Pretty awesome, McLawson. I like it. I like it a lot. Let's just put a, another cubby right here. Look at that. Sexy. I love it. <laughs> Little access port. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try this uh, on this one here. Now this is another just regular casing. Let's take those off. And we need the heat proof uh, casing covers. So let's get one of those, which are, wow, there's lots of them, isn't there? Um, right there it is, heat proof casing. One there, 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 and there. Remember, you have to, it's best to hold the shift key in while you're placing them because then you won't accidentally access the GUI interface of your machine or other stuff you're doing. Now I wanna put that same hollow cover over there. Booyah, looks pretty awesome. You see, you could actually take this one out and put that there. So it now it looks like your machine has some vents on the side. Pretty neat. There we go. Now my recommendation is to only use facades where you absolutely need them. Don't put ones in like, like we're never gonna see the one on the, the, on the side there. So it would make no sense to put ones like this, you know. And this, this is actually a thicker um, casing than I need it to be. Let's get the thinner one here. That's the thicker one. Let's use the thinner one. There we go. Yeah, I'm using a panel there. We should be using a cover. 
Okay, so I don't recommend using casings inside things that where you'll never see them. Now, I used them inside of here because you do visually see it. But the reason I say don't put them in um, places that you don't need them is because microblocks, um, they cause lag, a lot of lag if you use tons of them everywhere. In fact, <clears throat> you know, if I do uh, function F3 and I look at my frames per second right now, I'm pulling about 38, 36 in this area, which is good for my computer. I'm not using, I'm using a, my, a Mac Pro from 2008. But a lot of times, like if I get away from that area where it's laggy, like I'm going to come out here and see if I can make my, see my, my frames per second, they're going to go up a little bit more. And that's because over there, there's a ton of micro blocks um, and a ton of other things going on. But if I get away from all that, see now my, my frames per second are up about 45, 50 and all that. But as soon as I go back over here where all these micro blocks are and, and I'm using chisel and I'm using um, carpenter's blocks everywhere, those things cause lag especially if you use blocks that have light source to them, like the color blocks mod here. Um, see my frames per second are going down. So needless to say, only use micro blocks where you absolutely want to use them. Um, yeah, so, and, and you don't always have to bury everything. Like here I didn't on this machine. I left the pipe out because I wanted to, well, I wanted to have access to this, um, this pipe and you can even make trap doors down inside. See here, I have access to my stuff down below. And I can see that this uh, uh, pressure outlet for my pressure pipes mod is um, filtering sodium persulfate inside. And I could change that if I want to. I can also see uh, my energy bridge that, you know, I can change and see what's going on in there. So you can get, you know, really creative with your, your different stuff. And I wish, um, you know, they had more options for trap doors that actually worked on the side and stuff. Um, you know, Forge Microblocks needs to add like a, a trap door kind of thingy. It would be really cool. Let me see if I can make that work. I don't think I can. If I put that right like that. Let's see here. Try put a, a trap door there. Mm, no, it doesn't. Does it work on the side? No, I don't have any option to to add. I could do that, which is not too awesome, but forged micro blocks don't work when they're attached, or um, trap doors don't work when they're attached to forged micro blocks, so that's kind of a bummer. I gotta find something that I could add a door, but until then I at least have the option of making an access uh, port, which looks nice and seamless in there and stuff, and then I'm gonna you know, put this over there. Let's do one more here, just so you can see how easy it is. Um, this here, again, is our stable. So let's go find everything for the stable. I'm just going to type in stable, machine casing, stable. And here we go. Here's my stable casing. And I want the hollow one as well. Shazam. There we go. And you can get creative any way you want. So, whoop, boom, boom, and boom. Now let's put casing over there. Check it out. Now I can access my, my um, energy chest inside and still have, you know, access to the machine and all that good stuff. And it looks aesthetically pleasing. Very cool, huh? Well, um, yeah. So, yeah, this is my butter shop. And oh, if you want a quick... Uh, tour real quick of the butter shop while you're here. Um, hmm, let me show you everything it can do. Oh, you know what? As a result of grinding all that gold ore, I don't know why I'm showing you this, but I guess I'm just kind of doing an end zone dance here right now. Um, down here in the basement, this is where everything is supplied um, to the machines up top. I've got my uh, ME drive array and I can access everything here. Program drives. I love applied energetics. It's just too bad that uh, the mod maker kind of wigged out a little bit and quit with all the harassment that he got. It's just sad. I really love that mod, but they are um, continuing it, so I'm not sure yet how that's going to go with the new developers. I have high hopes 
And I'm sure the mod developer handed off to some competent people, but I'm still a little worried. <laughs> Let's take a look here. I've also got a, a cement mixer. What's the cement mixer for? Well, it's a, a basic mixer. And uh, what it does is it takes clay and stone and it makes liquid concrete, which is pumped over here into this tank, which gives me wet concrete. That wet concrete is then put into my uh, citywide um, system of pipes. I have a citywide system that goes around the entire city, up and down the tracks. There's just like in real life, there's a pipeline that goes up and down here. And using the pressure pipes mod, which is freaking awesome, it puts multiple liquids into one pipe and there's no limit to how many you can have going into there. So I'm pumping everything into there. And when I grind all the ore, you get all this extra byproduct. So that's what I'm I'm putting down here and it's, it's all processed. And yeah, I like to have props and things to make everything look cool. And you know, more micro block lights that I've made. These are my designs, um, my little fluorescent light designs. And I would like a mod maker to actually design some better light mods. And if you're a mod maker and you have the skills, I have the inspiration to give you <laughs> for many different lights um, that I would like to see made. Instead of like seeing having to use Red Powers um, or Project Red's uh, lamps, I'd like to actually see modular fluorescent bulbs that I could throw in there, making the light any size, any length I want. That worked on Red Power, and then you put the light bulbs in there, and you have two in there, or four, or whatever the size of the light is. And you could actually drop them up or down, lower them on chains or posts, whatever. Even having electric versions that worked on RF or EU power would be freaking fantastic. Um, as well as some other uh, cool lights, um, you know, different things like that. We just don't have enough in the way of lighting. And, you know, Greg Tech is a technical game, and I don't like to power things with torches. I think that's just lame. You know, I found some other use for micro blocks up here, like this. And if you wanted to get all Greggy, you know, or um, Greggy on things, you know, in here, I guess I could throw one of those on there and make it look like they're bolted up there, you know, and so forth, lights and so. Yep. And uh, those are just posts inside that are from uh, other micro blocks. So you can get creative. You can do this over here. So you can make little recessed lights. And those actually, those blocks do light up. Uh, that's from the color blocks mod. I took the color blocks mod, which is what I'm using here on the top, and everything to make um, my signs and everything. And you notice I've flattened them down to all the heck. I've done that with the carpenter's block mod. And um, but those are those yellow blocks and so forth. Those are full size blocks. I've just squished them down to that size. It's really cool. You have a lot of options when dealing with forge um, micro blocks. And um, I hope I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you're a machine builder, if you like doing things with Greg Tech and you really just want to bury um, some of those pipes or make your machines more accessible and function or look more aesthetically pleasing, this. Um, is the way to do it or one way to do it and I'm sure there's many other ways out there so I highly recommend installing forge uh, multi-part which is going to give you your forge micro blocks I would highly recommend getting carpenters blocks I highly recommend getting the chisels uh, chisel mod um, and um, and yeah so this has been um, the how to turn Greg blocks in Greg Tech blocks into forge multi-part micro blocks. I hope you enjoyed and take care. Rate and like and please subscribe. I really appreciate it. Take care and have a great weekend.